Hello, I am Dr. Z, and I will talk about our essential question. Language learners should be exposed only to the form they are taught. According to AS206, that's the identification number for the person on I talk it, disagrees with this statement because for language learning, there should be fewer restrictions and more freedom because language changes all the time. Besides, we live in a diverse world and cannot predict when and how we will use language. Although language learners need to learn language forms, they should be able to use it in a flexible way according to the situation they might face. Accordingly, teachers must aid learners to perceive any form of language. Therefore, information must come from everywhere and anywhere it may be. Additionally, all possible resources should be used that will help students to be successful. As I reflect on the training video for week four and my experiences of four semesters of French when in college, undergraduate, and my husband's Spanish classes at community college, there was never an opportunity or suggestion that we practice our new language outside of the classroom. We learned the vocabulary, we listened to the language tapes in the library, and some greetings in the classroom. Neither my husband nor I became successful with the French and Spanish languages. Today, I am a substitute teacher in some middle and high schools in Delaware and I am amazed when some students will help me to say a word or learn a word related to what might be happening in the class especially in Spanish. Furthermore I am amazed that the website World Language Corner did not have English as a language. Although it had the major foreign languages as listed when one joins uh, the site. Recently I taught adults intermediate reading and writing online and students were of diverse cultures. Some were Chinese, Hispanics, that's a diverse population, African, Jamaican, Native American, Indian, African American, and Caucasian. Generally, the Chinese students were professionals. For example, they were teachers in China, but needed to become fluent in reading and writing American English to get a teaching position. During the time of a discussion board, some online learners encouraged the Chinese learners to listen to readings on the internet and the audio reader in the learning management system, television, and to talk to others. Cultural pride can affect a learner, and this was an issue for the Chinese students. It is probable that a student exchange would have helped these students. The concept that language is a passport was introduced in module four and suggests a teacher would be foolish to attempt to control the language that learners are exposed to because of the variation in dialect and meaning within the culture. Language is powerful, motivating 
and help learners to communicate and connect with people in fa fascinating ways. While in the classroom and out of the classroom, the learner should be free to learn the many aspects of language. Goodbye, Dr. Z.